Hello everyone. Let's today we will discuss related to analytical application. Okay, in SSE. So we will today we will see how we can design the application analytical application in SSE in SS, SAP Analytical Cloud. Okay, in which we will discuss what is pop up, how it is uh, triggered a pop up and what is the radio button how we can uh, select the radio button to get up the pop-ups and display the your report in chart and table and how to trigger basically a, a event okay based on your javascript so how to write even javascript we'll see today okay so let's start a analytical application how to create it and how to design it in ssc let's see start Okay, so let's so you can see this is the SSC server. Okay, so we already logged into it. So I would like to show you the previous okay uh, SSC applications. Okay, analytical applications. So let's double click here. Okay, so once you double click, you will see here existing one. It is displayed here. Okay, so you can see this is display here. Okay, if you select chart or table. Okay, so let's say I am selecting table. So see pop-up is came here. Okay. So this is a, a simple okay. Even you have a cancel button, okay, and okay button. So it every like cancel or okay button, okay. It has some background Java coding, Java script coding. Okay, we will show you how to and I'll tell you how to write the code behind it. Okay, see if it is okay, you can okay. Similar if you have a chart here, you click here, see here chart bar, okay, of your gross cell would be here. Okay, so this is if you want to cancel, you could cancel. If you want to, okay, you can click it. Okay, so this is the like we can say a analytical applications. Okay, similarly, I will show you today how to create basically, okay, and how to create this chart table and event based drawing, okay, buttons and all. Okay, so let's see, let's come into the here. Okay, let's close this existing one. I'm going to create new one. So let's here, if you come here, more, okay, now you can click here, analytical application. So once click here, application, you will see this is the, we have a create a new analytical application. Okay, just click on this. Okay, you should choose a classic design experience and click OK button. Yeah, so this is the, we have it, okay. This is we have a can say a uh, this is yeah. okay. This is we you can say a uh, canvas okay. So already we have seen the earlier session story we can have here okay. Insert okay. If you want to insert chart, you can just select here okay. It will come here. Insert a chart okay. Any chart okay. So let's select here anything. Let's see. I'm selecting this okay. You can select this one okay. So what the chart you can select, let's see bar chart, you can select the bar chart, horizontal, vertical, whatever you want, you can see here measure. So whatever you want, you can select as per your requirement. Okay, see here, this is like this. Okay, if you want to see some uh, dimensions, you can select some dimension, let's see product dimension, see like this. So or you want a manage, sales manager, you can select like this. So this is, we already seen the earlier uh, in the story, okay. So let's, okay, so this is, we have a chart, okay. So let's, if you want some table, if you just uh, small it, you can move it, you, you can move it anywhere, okay. Let's see if you want something, you can move it here, you can move it anywhere, okay. Let's see if you want some table, this is the icon for table. If you want insert your data in table, you can just click here, okay. You can see the table would be here, yeah. So you can see this is tabular data. Okay, you can add some dimensions. Okay, let's see here. So before here, okay, so let's see just give one second. Yeah, you can add some. Okay, here let's see across applications, category, date, location, product, whatever you want, you can add it here. Okay, and see this is we have look like. So this is we have a tabular data. Okay, so this is we have a tabular data. You can see just. This is the tabular data, okay, and this is we have it, okay. This is we have a chart, okay. Now you can see here another we have a called okay, another 
okay you can see a panel tape okay text okay text area drop down okay radio button okay just select radio button okay see here so i would like a radio button here okay. so once you did here radio button now you can move your anywhere uh, the locations wherever you want okay see this is a okay this is a manual okay if you want to change the text options okay you can click chart okay if you want some data like uh, not data this is label that is the table okay default would be this one okay if you want to change you can change it okay so let's see i have default this one okay and and if you want any changes like if you see edit style you can do some edit style let's see if you want i would like rb some changes name changes okay you can change anything okay if you want some color anything let's see here so many uh, features are background color if you want something background color you can change here background color or something red color or whatever uh, you want you can do some changes here okay so this is a we have we had this one this okay so I, I did this one okay now you have to save it first you can just save this one so let's see okay i am going to here uh okay let's see i'm uh, giving here something like second okay okay analytical applications just name put it anything name so i'm just click okay it is going to save under file folder okay so yeah it is saved okay once saved then you, you can see here near to designer we have an option called run analytical application just click here so it is going to run here yes you can see okay see these are the two we, we have already we have this is a tabular data okay and this is a chart data okay we have but there is no any effect if you am selecting chart there is no any pop-up okay and no table there is no any table pop-up is coming okay so for this we will like we will need to write a code behind it javascript code so let's show you how to write the code on this okay so let's see here okay First of all, I need to hear pop up. Okay, just double click here, pop up. Okay, see pop up. Okay, you have to add here. You have to insert some chart here. Okay, so let's see. I'm adding here chart. So let's see bar chart. Okay, if you want horizontal, vertical. Let's see if you want to vertical. If you want to add something, let's see gross sale discount. Whatever you want, key figures you can add here like this. See like this. Okay. If you want, okay, so if you want something here, uh, dimensions, you can add the dimension even, let's say date, date, locations. So whatever you want, let's see if you want a date wise, okay, so you can see date wise would be there. If you want a product wise, so product wise even, even there. So let's see date wise, I would like to see. Okay, so this is, we have added uh, under the pop-up. Okay, so this is a, one of the chart we have, have it, okay now okay so once done okay then what should you need to do you have to okay uh, write some code behind it okay, you can just okay if you double click on this chart you will see here okay this is a chart we have it okay. so let's see i'm going to write some code behind it let's see pop up underscore one dot control Okay, and then okay, you can close it. There's a button over here to close. So once you click a close button, it is going to close it. So you have to save this one. So let's see here. Yeah, you have to save first. Anything you have to return, you have to save first. Yeah, it is saved. Okay. Now, similarly, what you need to do, you have to write a code on your uh, particular here. Okay, on button. So let's see here. I'm going to okay write a code here okay so let's before here see this is the name of rb1 right so let's see here i am going to select here and edit a script okay now i am writing here a script if okay so let's see rb1 underscore one okay this is the name of uh, the button radio button okay dot control star okay now you have to select get select text okay and there is an option here chart chart 
okay so you have to inverted comma you have to put it okay so here you have to put like okay uh, like pop up pop up underscore one dot control star okay open i would like to open it see now okay this is you have to save it first okay so let's see how it is working okay so yeah it see let's see how it is works yeah now you can see here this is a two chart or table okay let's i want to uh, display a table see why it is not pop up why because there is no behind any code we have written for table okay so we have written only chart so let's select chart see it is pop up came okay so that means here once pop up will come okay it should be okay you can see do some changes or something you can do some changes here okay so now there is no button here okay see it is not a button here so what you should do you have to write some another code here okay so let me tell you how to write a code behind it so let's me okay so you the code here okay so let's see here okay you have to write a code here so let's pop up here see already we have written here code okay so so let's see here there is in chart okay you will have some option here okay so this is we have it okay so it pop up this is the way you can up okay so similarly similarly if you want a like a table okay let's see if you want to add a table so okay you have to create another chart for table okay, so let's i am adding here table here okay so let's i have added here okay table okay so let's i am adding here pop up table okay so here you have to okay this is a table okay let's see a designer you have to open it okay as per your requirement you can do some changes here whatever you want okay so let's see here if you want to move anywhere you can move it anywhere like if you select here you can move anywhere anywhere in this okay so let's see here okay and the designer you okay, you have to add some dimensions which one you want cross application category calculation see like this okay whatever you want product okay see like this product okay if you don't want category you can see like this you can sales or uh, or locations whatever you want to display see like this it is display like this okay so this is we have if you want a dimensions add okay you can add some dimensions like category like this okay see here so this is we have it okay you can add whatever you want in the table okay so once done it okay then what you need to do similarly you have to write a code here for this what should you write pop up pop up underscore two dot control a see this is a close okay. yes so you have to save it any changes done okay so save as yeah save yeah i have written a close okay now what should you do next okay you have to write a code okay for radio button okay so what you need to write here so write here like okay so you have to write a else statement okay so let's here i'm going to write a else statement else okay you have to give this code okay and pop up pop up underscore two dot open yeah so this is a okay you have a write for another table data display okay let's save it okay now you see run it yeah it is loading yeah now you can see okay so which format you want to data display okay you can select as per your requirement let's see i am going for the table i want to see the data in table 
click here. See, this is a tabular format. Okay, whatever you have pop ups, okay, it is came. Okay, okay, you can check it here. Everything like you drill down, okay, see, drill down, whatever you want, you can do it. So, this is a way basically, okay, it is a pop up. Okay, similar way if you want a chart, okay. If you want to chart, okay, you can drill, you can freeze, okay, whatever you want, you as per your requirement, you can do it, okay. Similarly, if you again, if you want to run this one, okay, if you want to uh, display the chart, okay, so how we can display the chart? Let's okay, let's see. If you select again this one, okay, let's see now it is okay again. It should some button you are okay, so hide this one. So whatever you want, you can do it here as per your requirement. Okay. So this is the way. Okay. So this is the way. Basically, we are going to okay discuss okay to uh, select okay similar way. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to uh, run uh, again. We are going to run this report. So let's here yeah, run this report. Yeah, so now you can see how, okay, chart, if you're selecting table, okay, see, it is table display here, okay? So if, if you don't even close it, you can click close it, okay? Mm -hmm. Similarly, if you have a chart here, see, this is a chart, okay? You can do it anything, like whatever your requirement, sorting, run, okay, compare, add anything, you can export the data, depend upon your requirement, okay? If you want to cancel, you can cancel, you can... Okay, if you can, uh, okay, you can, okay. So this is basically how we can uh, design or uh, create any analytical applications in SEC, okay, report, okay. So this is, we have it till now, okay. So we have already discussed these all points today. So that's it for today, okay. If in case any questions, any uh, queries, okay, and please do like uh, and share uh, uh, and also uh, subscribe this channel, okay. Thank you. Thank you for attending this.